Um, half bath. This place is kind of special. Hi. It has a door that goes into the other bathroom. So, it's me again. What is happening? Please tell me what they were thinking. Sink. Toilet. Sink. Toilet. Makes no sense to me. Wish we could fly away. You and I go to our favorite place. Oh, yeah, yeah. Make special memories. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Karina Bonaduk, and today I'm finally gonna show you my guest bathroom. I bought this duplex in August of 2020, so it's been. I was trying to do math in my head at the same time that I was talking and that didn't go very well. So let's see, August and it's March. So it took me seven months to get this bathroom done. They always say, I don't know who they is, but I heard this before that the last 10% is the hardest and it was so freaking hard. I have a few more touch-ups to do and then I can finally do a tour of my first flip. So I'm super excited about that. but. Let me not tuck your ear off as always and let's just go and see how this renovation went. Oh, I forgot to mention that this is a half bath to a full bath renovation as you saw in the first part of the video. That is the before tour. It had a door that was connecting the bathroom, was super weird and I think it's gonna get the value of the duplex way higher when it's a two bedroom, two bath instead of a two bedroom, one and a half bath. Now we can go and see how the renovation went. Logically, first thing that we did was take out the sink and the toilet and then you can see me trying my hand and my foot at taking out that wall that was splitting the bathroom from the kitchen because that's where the shower is gonna be this is how it looked like after we took the drywall out it still had a lot of studs and this is from the kitchen looking into the bathroom we moved the door because it needed a new entrance and this is my first time building a wall so I just cut the drywall and put it in place, screwed it in and then do some tape and mud. I'm super proud of myself for this and it came out pretty good for my first time doing this. This is how it looks from the inside of the bathroom. The electrician already moved the plug and this is how it looks with the drywall on the inside. I also patched up the ceiling and I think it came out pretty well for my first time doing it. And this is the door that was in between the two bathrooms that I closed and then the plumber told me I closed the wrong wall and he had to cut through it so that was very sad. This is me fixing the shower wall and this is the drywall on there and the floor was a mess for the longest time because I had to switch plumbers in the middle of it and this is the door from the inside. The new plumber came through and I got to cover up with dirt and then I made cement for the first time and I covered the holes in my foundation which I'm pretty proud of by the way and then I had to fix the door I decided on a bar door just because it was less of a hassle than actually installing a new door and I think it looks pretty good it gives my hallway a little bit of oomph so I just used spare drywall that I had lying around and then I mudded really well and then I had to sand forever. Here I made a lip for the shower because I could not make a slope by myself and it was a lot of money to hire somebody else. So I also waterproofed the shower walls and this is what I have at this point. Most of the walls are patched up. Now the door is patched up, the walls are patched up it's waterproofed so the next thing that i had to do was start working on that shower that i dreaded oh so much because it's hard work and i've never done that before so here i'm making sure that everything is level on my lip wiping down some sweat i wasn't aware that you're supposed to put the liner down before you put your drywall so it was something that you know you live and you learn so i am hoping that it is very waterproof because i did glue it all the way up and then i put my towel on top of it if it's not good i'm the one it's gonna fix it and I know what to do to fix it it's just gonna be a hassle but it is what it is you know this was the first bathroom that I ever did I had to work with a lot of mistakes and 
fix a lot of mistakes later on once I got more experience with the other bathroom and just the whole unit in general. Here I finally got a little helper and I am working on putting towel on the wall and that took a long time also just because I got such small tile but it is what it is again you live and you learn and here we had to make a little bit of a slope so the water would go down but in the end it came out very good for my first time doing it and I just am pretty proud of it don't remember what this is called I think it's three in one or four in one 401 something like that the person in the floor department at Lowe's told me what to buy and I poured it down just to get the shower floor ready for tile and obviously you want to make sure it's in a slope towards the drain so it goes the water goes in the drain it doesn't just pool there because you know moisture creates mold and you don't want any of those issues the first plumber did me really good when he installed I mean he had the vanity and he had the sink and the faucet and everything to make sure that it's the appropriate height for my sink but you know you can't trust some people so I decided not to pay to get it moved up and I did it by myself I just cut the drywall moved the 2x4 higher and then put some pegs with the little fittings that go in there I did have to buy a crimper and a pex cutter but I have them forever and I also use them when I install the toilet make sure it's level here I am making sure that the drywall is flush with the other drywall that I had on there and then I just patched it up with drywall and mud and once the towel went on it's like you can't even tell that I did anything. I made a hole behind the vanity for the drain to go in there then I just pushed it in place and my sink is almost done. Did tile on the whole wall that took a while too because of the faucet and the light but then I installed the drain and I needed an extension. This is the day that I found the mirror that I loved so much and I came home and Helsey approved of it. So obviously I had to take a selfie like the first thing after I put it up and then get on with the shower floor which was a little bit difficult just because of the slope but I got it done and guess what? Helsey approved again. He loves that spot. I also wanted to have a few shelves on there and I got them on sale for like three or four dollars something like that and I had to be creative putting the brooms and all that on there to hold it because I held onto those shelves for like 40 minutes at like one in the morning trying to get them to stick and they didn't and then I scraped all that extra glue I think it was like Gorilla Glue that I used like in white and then I scraped the excess and put white silicone on there and you want the silicone to be waterproof obviously because it is in the shower the shower door was pretty much like a painting like a wall decoration in my kitchen so I was super excited to get it unpacked and obviously Kelsey had to help with that and I don't want to show you guys just yet but just make sure that the door is level use all those like they it, come, it came with like little silicone pieces that you put in the brackets just to make it level because it's very important that the weight is distributed all along it because you know it's glass so if you're not careful it's gonna break so make sure to follow the instructions they come with the glass door it's not really a door it's a panel I keep calling it a door it's a panel because it doesn't move but you know what I mean I also have some shelves that I installed I have you know little touch-ups little details here in there I did some wallpaper as well but it will give away too much I just wanted to see the whole big picture so I'm gonna show you the after pictures in the meantime make sure to follow on Instagram at Karina Benedict to see what's happening throughout the week give me a thumbs up to help the YouTube algorithm so other people can find my videos and I can do what I love which is make videos and redecorate my home and just learn new things every week subscribe to get video notifications and I'll see you next time Mwah. If I can't have you, I don't want you to have anyone And if you don't want me, there's something wrong with them, right? Maybe I got problems that I don't tell anyone Have I lost my perception? Feel like I wanna do something wrong now Packing all your belongings Say you wanna take some time But if you say we'll meet again Why'd you have to take everything now? Baby, are you lying? Have you met someone? Tell me now. I better start crying. Make them feel bad before we leave town. Ten, nine, counting down. Putting on a smile. Eight, seven, six, five. You say goodbye.
I forgot to mention that this, I mean, you saw it when you first started <laughs> to people, like, you know, I talked to a, a but, and then I wanted to have, I also wanted to have, I also wanted 